I'm wearing my Gap jumper. And that can only mean one thing. It means we are traveling. We're going to Glasgow tonight. We are driving up there. Uh, I'm not going to bother you with any video montages or time lapse with traveling and stuff because I'm sure I will have a lot to talk about and show you while I'm there in Glasgow. We are there for a week this time. Um, a lot happening in Glasgow. I will catch up with you on that later on. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out reach, out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way Times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
Alaska for a whole week now and so much has happened in between. But I've not spoken to you, nor have I filmed as much. I think I've just been very conscious of myself because every time I vlog while we're traveling, I end up talking so much. I end up over filming, over sharing. And then while I'm editing, I end up having to cut so much or split it into different parts. So I kind of told myself that I will not talk too much and not over film things. I ended up doing the exact opposite this time. But the main reason why we are in Glasgow is because Lakshman's gone to Aberdeen. So Levi and I stayed back in Glasgow for a week. He's got a week's worth of leadership training uh, in Robert Gardens University in Aberdeen. And I was going to make use of this time so I could spend time with my mom here and my mother could spend time with her grandson. Let's face it, the latter is more important than me spending time with my mother. So yeah, that's one of the things. And also on Sunday was a very special day for me um, because I launched my book. I'm kind of doing several different launches in different locations. I didn't plan it this way, but I launched my book on Sunday in church in Glasgow. This is technically my home church in the UK. This is the church that I went to while I was in Glasgow as a student. And you know, when I was here for eight years, very involved, it was my second home. And everyone is family, basically. Uh, there are a lot more new people, but the ones who are still there are the ones that I've known, you know, all along from when I was here. Uh, everyone's always been very prayerful, very supportive. So it was kind of emotional, kind of sentimental to actually release my book. And this is the first time I'm actually releasing in public because I only gave one to my family, one to my in-laws and one to my mother. And I haven't given it to anyone else at all. I haven't spoken about it to anyone else at all. So I haven't heard much feedback as yet, um, other than family, obviously, but I am looking forward to it. I was so busy. Uh, Lakshman was around, so it's just me with Levi. My mom was obviously here helping my mom and family and everything, but Levi was very clingy because it's a new environment for him, new people, you know, he's just not familiar. He didn't want to go to anyone else at all. So I was just busy carrying him, feeding him, making sure he was okay and everything. And um, yeah, I didn't take much photos or videos. In fact, I was so upset that I didn't take a proper picture of my books on the stand, you know, or even with Levi commemorating like official pictures or anything. But I do have random video clips here and there that are some of the kids there.